I actually wanted to just show you a couple of things about GREP and Emacs. I find the defaults of GREP in the latest versions of Emacs to be a little bit long and pedantic. So if you install Emacs and you invoke GREP, this is the default GREP search that you are going to be getting. So let me take you through the options here. Color Auto colorizes the matches. Minus N shows line numbers, which is what you want. Minus H shows file names. Null uses the null character as the separator rather than new line characters. E explicitly specifies the search pattern. And that's actually useful sometimes if your pattern begins with a dash or something like that. Now, as you may know, I've been tinkering with XEMACS lately and I was interested to see that their grep command is simply grep minus n. And this is one of the things I like about XEMACS. It's very simple and reverts back to basics. I sometimes feel that one can get so caught up in all the options that you lose sight of the basics. So something I said to my son when he was learning guitar, I said to him, learn the basics and the variations will take care of themselves. So this is the basic grep command that you get in XEMACS. I think I'll just show you that. Run grep like this and then the cursor is placed in the right position and all that you have to do is enter in your search string followed by the directory. Now this doesn't really meet all my needs so I've set a new grep command which goes as follows. You've got the color in the hit results. Minus R allows you to do recursive searching. Now when you have this option minus R you don't need minus H because it implies the showing of file names. Minus N showing line numbers and then I've added this one A1 which adds a single line of context so that you can see the line that follows. You can also do B for before and C for both before and after depending on what your needs are. And then you'll notice here I've left a space to input my search query. So I'm going to try this out here and see how it works. This global shortcut gives me grep alt s g. So I'm going to invoke that. You can see there my search query grep color auto rni a1 and let's type my search string. Basket case and we're going to search the current directory all files in the current directory and there we found it. Now I know there are a lot of people who use rip grep and ag and all the other modern options and yeah they are very very fast. I'm still sold on grep and I'm going to continue to use it because it's what I've learned and what I know best. Now there are of course a number of grep commands that you get uh, in Emacs and the ones that I would use most often are grep, lgrep and rgrep but if you have in your options this minus r flag you won't need rgrep although rgrep does make things a lot easier because it's got a very simple interface where it prompts you to put in this and to put in that but this is also very easy this simple prompt here and the only thing that you really need to remember is that once you've been prompted you just need to add your string followed by your directory or you can also specify a particular file or set of files. So we could do that same search again but this time say let's look for this string in all of our org files. So there you have it. I hope that you found that useful. Please be sure to give me some feedback in the notes below. Take care guys.